Okay, so let's try another limiting reagent problem. So this time we've been given masses instead of moles. Um, it says how much molten iron is formed from the reaction of 25.0 grams of iron 2 oxide with 25.0 grams of aluminum. Okay, so we want to figure out how much molten iron is formed. Okay. So, what do we need to figure out? Which one is the what? The limiting, the limiting reagent. Okay? So, what do we have to do first? We've got masses here. We've got to do what? Convert to moles. Convert to moles first. Okay? What's on the bottom here? What's on the top? <coughs> Everybody. One mole of what? Iron, iron two oxide. oxide, and what would be the on the bottom? Fifty-five point eight five plus sixteen. Yeah, seventy-one point eight five. Iron two oxide. Okay. So are we at what we want? Moles of iron to oxide? Well, what do we have to do then? Molar ratio. Of what? Uh, iron to iron, uh, iron to oxide. So what's on the bottom? Three moles of iron to oxide. And on the top? Three moles of iron. Only one person can help me out with this? Huh? Anybody else in here? Is there anybody else in this room? Yes. Yes, yes, there's a bunch of people. They can all help me out, okay? Oops. Are we where we want to be? No. No, no we still want to figure out the what? Mass. Mass, okay? So what do, yes, we use the molar mass. So what do we put on the bottom? One mole of iron. One mole. Iron. And on the top? 65.85 grams of iron. Where'd you get that number? Take ready to take. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's calculate that. So to three sig figs, I get 19.4 grams of iron. Okay? So is that the amount that's produced? Or do we know yet? We don't know. We don't know because we have to figure out the other one, yep. right? Okay, so let's do the same thing. So on the bottom, what? 26.98. 26. 26.98 grams. grams of AL. Somebody else, what's on top, ladies? One mole of what? Gram. AL, right? One mole of grams. One mole of AS, okay? So here we are. Cancel, cancel. Now what? Ratio. One ratio. Okay, of what to what? What's on the top? Or what's on the bottom? Let's try that one first. Two moles. Two moles. On the top, Three ladies. Moles. What's on the top? What's on the top? Three <coughs> moles of iron. Three moles of iron. If you're wondering, you can just look up here. It's the same thing, okay? Now what? Well, I'm asking for to France. Now what, ladies? If you want to know, just do the same thing as up here, okay? So what are we going to put on top? No, 55.85 grams it's the of same. iron. It's the same thing, guys. One mole of iron. Like that, okay? <coughs> Don't make banking up rules. Don't be making up rules. That's when you start getting things wrong. 
Okay, so 25 divided by 26.98 times 3 divided by 2 times 55.85. <coughs> what what do you guys get? 77.6 grams of iron. Nobody got anything except for one person out of all the people in here? What, is it that what you guys got? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, so which one is the amount that we're going to make? Top or bottom? Top. 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 Why is that? Is there a least one? So it's the smallest? So what does that mean? Which one's the limiting reagent? Iron 2 oxide. Iron 2 oxide is the limiting reagent. Okay. I know there's a zillion questions on it, but we're going to kill it, okay?